first lap run in the 3,000 meters in 67 seconds, which is very fast. Zelda Bud leading for weaker in second place. Uh, Bondarenko of the Soviet Union in third. She's tucked in on the curb. 8.52 is uh, the other Russian, Samalenko. Zelda Bud's really stretching them. Uh, which is quite surprising, really. I mean, she really is pressing on in front, wearing shoes tonight because of the slippery track. Well, if she didn't have shoes on tonight, she'd have absolutely no chance because it really is wet out there, and the, the surface of the track is very, very difficult. But Zola is striking out, and there she's obviously working towards a plan, and the plan is obviously to run the sting out of Puicha and out of the Russians because... Uh, in Zurich, Ingrid Christensen did, did to Puiccia what uh, Zola could possibly do if she makes it fast enough. And we saw in Zurich, Christensen beat Puiccia and demonstrate that she's vulnerable and that in a fast pace and a fast race, she's not as quick on the last lap as everyone thought she was. But Zola, a couple of weeks ago, I felt looked in a similar situation to she did last year when she, when she seemed to be very heavy-legged and running very, very tired. And maybe she's just had a couple of days rest before she came here because she's running very upright, she's running, running very relaxed. And, you know, she hasn't had a great deal of experience in the world arena, and this is a time when she's uh, relishing it. And, I mean, she's doing everything that she and her coach must, must have planned, and that's a real positive for an athlete when they plan a race and then she comes out and does it. Well, we'll be able to see in the later stages whether it's a wise policy or not. Certainly, she's gone off at something like 8.30 pace, or probably better. Yvonne Murray's uh, sticking in there behind Poika. The three Russians are there. Samalenko, Shipuyeva, and Bondarenko. Ali van Holst of Holland, Berkey of Switzerland, and Sergio of France. And they're the only girls now chasing the leader. The third lap, 69 seconds. They've gone 67, 67, 69. 323 at three laps, uh, which is, uh, well, around 8.30. It's a very, very good pace. Unfortunately, Liz Lynch, who is the Commonwealth 10,000-meter champion, seems to be struggling and just falling off the back of that group. But Liz will have to really apply the pressure now, keep pushing, keep working hard, because she is a good long-distance runner, and she could come back to the field in the later stages. And I feel a bit happier about her tonight than I did the other night in the heats because she seemed to be finding that really difficult. But Zola is doing everything that she's obviously decided to do. And she's setting a really tough pace. And she hasn't had years enough experience to find many other ways of running than running at the front. I remember her in the World Cross Country this year, she just did absolutely this and ran away from the field. Well, that's a much taller order tonight to run away from this field. But uh, it's always best to do what you do best. And what she does best is leading. And I uh, admire an athlete who knows their strength and then comes out and tries to see if it's good enough. Last lap, 70 seconds, it's just slowed a little bit. Bud leading for weaker second, Bondarenko is in third place. And one forgets about uh, Zola Bud, she's still only 20. And in fact, she first broke nine minutes for 3,000 metres at the age of 15. Coming round with three laps to go, Bud leads, Bondarenko in second place, third is Shupieva. Fourth place, Samalenko. Von Murray digging in there, still in, right with them. And Eli van Helst is losing touch. But all the three Russians are there and all looking dangerous. Uh, Bondarenko, an interesting athlete, uh, the leading Russian, number 823, if you spot a number. She won her heat, won the Goodwill Games at 5,000 metres. Is the ex-world record holder at 10. That's the girl in second place. Bud leading. Bondarenko second. Poika third. That's Samalenko going up on the outside of Poika. Then Yvonne Murray, who broke a personal best by five seconds in the semi-finals. And Shupayeva is uh, the girl in sixth place. So we've got two Britons, a Romanian, and three Soviet athletes. This time they'll have two to go. Yvonne Murray running very well in there, and she really has to stay in that bunch now because if she gets detached with, with just around about two laps to go, she could be in trouble on the last 
on the last lap and a half. But Zola, but every time she feels the Russian come alongside her, she responds and she pushes on. And she did this in uh, the European Cup last year, and it paid dividends. Maybe tonight is another repetition of that. But Puicha looks dangerous in third place. Yvonne Murray just hanging in there. And the, the uh, Russian Bondarenko in second place, I think, will attack earlier than, uh, than the 1,500-meter specialist. Well, after a very fast start, 67-67, they went 69-70-71. It's now on schedule for the mid-8.30s, but they are slowing a bit. Zolovud, Bondarenko, Poika, Samalenko, Yvonne Murray, and Shupieva. Six chasing the three medals. Well away from the rest. It certainly has been a courageous bid by Zella Bud to run away from them. But now we'll see if she's been able to save anything for the vital last lap. Bondarenko moving clear so she doesn't get trapped on the curb. And Yvonne Murray still right in there. Puika there. Samalenko. Puika that moves out. Samalenko in fourth place. And Yvonne Murray still holding Samalenko. And Shupayeva in sixth place. In a crucial stage of the race now, and the former world record holder for 10,000 metres takes it on. Bondarenko leads, Puika in second place, Zolabud third, and look at Yvonne Murray, the young Scots girl, hanging on to Zolabud, and they've dropped Samalenko, the other Russian. So the two British girls still in with medal chances, but what will they be? Bondarenko still leading, Puika second, Zolabud's started to race again. And suddenly she finds it a bit too much and loses ground once more, as Yvonne Murray too fades. It's Bondarenko, the Soviet athlete, running away from Puika, who looks back in desperation to see where Bud is. But uh, Puika is safe for the silver. Bondarenko going to take gold. Puika will take the silver. And Zola Bud tying up, being raced by Yvonne Murray. And Yvonne Murray may take the bronze. Bondarenko gold. Puika silver. And Yvonne Murray gets the bronze from a very, very tired but brave Zolabud, who paid on that last lap, as I thought she might well, for the pacemaking. But Yvonne Murray has run the race of her life, and she's taken seconds once more off a personal best. The smile is justified, and there may even be a tear there as well, or is it rain? But does it matter? She's got the bronze medal, and for her, that is a major achievement. Meanwhile, Zola Bud, as the champion walks away, Bondarenko, she used her strength, by the way, an ex-world record holder at 10,000 metres, and it showed. Yvonne Murray looks around to see where Zola Bud is. She really ran a very, very aggressive race. But I think it showed in the end, Brendan, that perhaps it was too aggressive, perhaps a little too ambitious. There's Lynch Lynch in the background. Zola Bud was so tired here, actually the producer went close on the leading two and you s didn't see quite how much she did tie up in the last few la yards. Bondarenko takes the gold, Puika takes the silver, and the race is now on for the bronze out of shot, and we just see it as Yvonne Murray takes over to take third place and Bud fourth. But uh, perhaps too aggressive, do you think, Brendan? Well, I think to lead every step of the way is sometimes a little bit overambitious. And I think, I think Zola Bud gave everything she had. She was buckled at the finish, coming into the finishing straight in the bronze medal position. And you can see the strain on the faces of the leader. And you can see Yvonne Murray tired too. But Yvonne Murray senses, Fuichi looks around and sees that Bud's no danger. Um, I think Yvonne suddenly came to life when she realized that Zola was buckling. Her legs were gone below beneath her, and she was really struggling. You can see the strain on her face, and you can see Yvonne looking at the tape and now beginning to sense that there's a medal here. And I said at the beginning, any kind of medal for these, either of these two girls at this level of competition, and Zola almost collapsed. Her, her legs have gone, her hamstrings, I think, have gone. She's in real trouble there, but she kept going. Great run by Yvonne Murray, who's becoming a real big-time competitor. Supergirl as well. She's only 21. Has she got a bronze in the Commonwealth 3000? She's a UK record holder at uh, 2000 metres. And one shouldn't forget either that she got a silver in the European Indoor Championship. So she's building up some background slowly.